Old-fashioned frugal living Contrary to how it rings, old-fashioned frugal living involves a few basic, economical adjustments that can help to cut your spending while still living comfortably. Curious to find out? Here are some top ideas for living what we call old-fashioned frugal living in today's world. 10. Plant your own Some people may still consider gardening old-fashioned, but it is making quite the resurgence. The thought of planting your own food might not be the top of your priorities, especially when your living conditions are meager, but you don't need a garden to grow some of your own food. Some food plants, such as lettuce, radishes, carrots, tomatoes, zucchini, and even berries, do very well in tiny spaces. It not only reduces ever-increasing food expenses, but it can be a soothing and aesthetic pursuit. If you're still not convinced, you could look up Instagram and Pinterest posts for plenty of inspiration. 9. Reuse Old doesn't mean useless. You can transform your old curtains, tea towels, bed linen, and clothes into something amazing. You could try making DIY pillowcases, quilts, bags, foam cases, and other fun items out of them rather than throwing them out. You could also reduce your spending in trash by reusing supermarket bags and food containers. Not only will this old-fashioned trick of recycling help you get the most out of your money, but you will be saving the environment as well. 8. Prepare your meals from scratch People did not always have ready meals, and old-fashioned people had to cook their meals from scratch. You should, too, because not only is it less expensive, but food cooked from scratch will often last longer than food purchased pre-made. There will definitely be days when you don't want to cook, and the idea of going out to eat is much more appealing. So, make sure to plan ahead of time by batch cooking your favorite foods and freezing them. 7. Do your own home repairs Many might cringe at the thought of doing handy labor like hammering, sawing, screwing, drilling, painting, or picking up a paintbrush or a power tool. However, even though we would rather not, a few brush strokes here and there, and you are done. Most people did not engage handymen to solve problems in their homes back in the day. Instead, they fixed it themselves. With a little technological assistance, such as YouTube or Google, you can certainly learn to fix some basic problems on your own. 6. Do your own laundry drying Dryers are a tremendous energy hog that drives up your utility bills. Hand washing used to be very common, so why not? If you're hesitant, you probably haven't smelled fresh clothing that has been drying all day before. It smells perfect. Get a clothesline and give drying your clothes the old-fashioned way a try. 5. Save on transportation According to reports, owning even a modest car will cost you more than $6,000 a year once you include gas, insurance, maintenance, and other fees. There are several ways to cut down on this, such as taking public transit, carpooling, and skipping the car wash but back in the day, not everyone owned a car. If you do not live too far from where you work, you could even consider walking or riding a bike. 4. Repair any ripped clothing Do your beloved jeans have a rip? You don't have to throw them away or replace them. Simply fix it. Even if you have never sewn anything before, you can learn a lot from YouTube. We are not asking you to learn to sew an entire outfit, but knowing how to patch up a hole or sew on a button will save you money and time. 3. Spend more time in nature Before the gym became a thing, most people took a leisurely walk as their top form of physical activity. We should definitely bring this back instead of paying for personal training. Walk or bike your favorite routes a couple of times a week to get some fresh air and also spend quality time with your family. 2. Do not waste food Next to rent, the topmost thing we spend money on is food. If you're wasting food, you're wasting money. Most households throw up to 4 bins of food waste away each year. Instead of letting your good go bad, freeze your leftovers or only make enough for one meal. There are several other ways you can save on food, from effective grocery shopping to planning your meals in advance. 1. Pay in cash In many circumstances, paying in cash is a good idea and an excellent old-fashioned money-saving tip. Credit cards were not available to previous generations, and they often paid for everything in cash. 
Start by only taking out the amount you want to spend each week, and once it's gone, it's gone. If you run out of money, you have two old-fashioned frugal options, save up for it or go without it. Some of these traditional living practices may appear to be too demanding but following even only a few will have a noticeable impact on your account. Even after learning all of these powerful tips I've just taught you, you still not know everything about saving money. Believe it or not, more information you need can be found in this video here. So which do you want to get started with first? Let us know in the comments below.